Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, let's take an in-depth look at the all-new 2012 Volkswagen Beetle Turbo Launch Edition. And this is going to be a full, in-depth tour of the Beetle. We'll start up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at Carolina Volkswagen in Charlotte, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, let's go and start it up, let it run. It's the candy white exterior with Titan black cloth interior, as well as color matched interior panels to match the exterior color. Very nice. Thin leather wrapped steering wheel, nice and smooth, with race inspired flat bottom design. This particular one also comes with the 6-speed DSG dual clutch automatic transmission with sport mode, basically changing the transmission shift characteristics to give the appearance of driving a manual vehicle. Also a Tiptronic manual shifting. DSG or direct shift gearbox is basically a twin clutch transmission, one operating gears 1, 3, and 5 and the other one's controlling 2, 4, and 6 basically eliminating lag and shifting and allowing one millisecond shifts in manual mode. Stitch D-brake. And let's go ahead and cut on the headlights, fog lights, as well as the hazards. Both the windows are fully automatic. And let's go ahead and check out the exterior, shall we? Standard halogen headlamps. Like I said, the new Beetle has been completely redesigned for the 2012 model. It's now wider, longer, and shorter, giving a much more sporty characteristic. Blacked out fog light housings. Also standard on the launch edition is the turbo graphic down the side. As well as these 19 inch black painted aluminum alloy wheels. With polished aluminum accenting. On high performance continental tires. They're also nitrogen filled. Large disc brakes with red painted brake calipers. This one also comes standard with a sport tuned suspension. The back end is a lot more rounded off in the newest generation. Give it a lot more of a fastback characteristic, so to speak. Chrome accented rockers. You also have a signature two-tone spoiler. A sunroof is available. as well as blacked out LED turn signal mirrors. Definitely looks to have a little bit of Porsche flavor to it. Your characteristic flared fender arches, more elongated tail lamps, dual polished exhaust tips, your third brake light right below your spoiler, I'm going to pop the hood. 
The new Beetle Turbo shares a lot more with the Volkswagen GTI than its base model Jetta related sibling. Sporting a 2 liter dual overhead cam turbocharged 4 cylinder engine. 16 valve with direct injection, produces 200 horsepower at 5100 RPM and 207 foot pounds of torque at 1800 RPM. It is front wheel drive with front and rear independent suspension. EPA estimated miles per gallon rating for the new Beetle on regular unleaded gas is 22 city, 30 highway. The new Beetle is also PZ certified, otherwise known as a partial zero emissions vehicle. Basically, in short, the vehicle emits practically zero harmful emissions. Otherwise, it's classified as a super ultra low emissions vehicle. Nicely appointed and stylish redesigned interior. As you saw earlier, the painted to match high gloss trim traditionally seen in the Beetle to match the exterior color. Lower storage pockets, cloth armrests, power windows, power locks, and power mirrors. They're also heated. As well as satin silver trim found throughout the vehicle. That's just a touch of accenting on the doors as well as the center console. Fully manual cloth bucket seats with side airbags, two-tone cloth design. Leather seats are also available for the vehicle with manual lumbar. Heavy amounts of side bolstering for increased support on those tight curves. Aluminum door sills, as well as aluminum sport pedals. You also have a manual tilt telescoping steering wheel. Like I said, a sunroof is also available. And let's go and see if she sounds. It is electronically rev limited to around 3500 RPM. Very nice sounding motor with just a hint of turbo whistle. Gonna shut her up. Solid door panels. Simple to use climate control. As it starts to get dark outside, you can see your red ambient interior lighting. Different zones, front defrost, rear defrost, three stage heated seats for both sides, recycling and your one touch AC. I also might add, heated cloth seats are quite comfortable in the winter time kind of takes the bite off that leather has sometimes. This particular Beetle also has the standard audio system with in-dash CD player, MP3 compatible. A optional Fender surround sound system is also available for the vehicle. You can also get navigation. Side curtain airbags. And for being the entry level audio system, it definitely has a nice punch to it. Sound settings. All of your preset stations, radio data up top, digital clock, FM, AM, different media options. radio settings and through the car's Bluetooth system you also have hands-free streaming of audio seek track change your folder 
You also have interior accented speaker lighting, where you can set to three speakers, red, white, or blue. Just use this little toggle switch here. There's white, blue, and red. See a little bit more of the interior lighting. Your intermittent wipers, turn signal and cruise control. Radio controls are also available for the steering wheel as well as steering wheel mounted paddle shifters to shift instead of having to shift down here. Storage, power outlet, your auxiliary input, adjustable cup holders, chrome accented, as well as storage and cup holder and power outlet for the rear seat. Sunglass storage. It's also padded. Microphones for your hands-free Bluetooth telephone. Interior lighting, as well as hands-free phone controls. There is no phone connected. Main menu. Help. Help. To call or contact, say for example, call John Smith at home. You can also say, dial number, redial, music, or further options. To stop the dialogue at any time, say cancel. Cancel. Simple as that. Alrighty. It's gonna shut her down. Then we're gonna check out the back seat. To gain access, just pull up on the little handle here. Slides the whole seat forward. It does slide up a lot more than the previous generation, which makes it a lot more easier to get in and out. You also have more interior room. And with the normal seating position, I'm about 5'10", I have about, probably about two inches of extra leg space, as well as about an inch and a half to two inches of head space. Side curtain airbags in the back. Your painted trim as well as handles and coat hooks. You also have your side speakers, armrests, and lower storage. The back seats also fold down by pulling this little toggle switch, greatly expanding the cargo space in the rear. So let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? You can open up the trunk by the key fob or the emblem which doubles as a handle. More trunk space with a removable cargo cover. It's also illuminated with a power outlet. And with the rear seats folded down and the cargo cover removed, you can see how practical the Beetle can actually be. Able to fit much taller items than you expect. Manual passenger seat as well with the same adjustments as the driver's seat.
large lower glove box. Also, to pay homage to the original Beetle, you have what's known as a Beetle box integrated into the color-coded panel. Fantastic redesign. Dynamic looks, nice interior appointments and comfort, as well as sporty driving characteristics. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour on the all-new 2012 Volkswagen Beetle Launch Edition Turbo. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's a lot more where that came from. Take care, everybody.